On May 19, 1927, the first Ritz-Carlton Hotel in the country opened in the heart of Boston. It would become iconic. Fast forward nearly 100 years and the hotel on the corner of Arlington and Newberry Streets still holds a grand allure. The old Ritz, briefly the Taj, reopened in 2021 as the Newberry Boston after an extensive two-year renovation. Classic elegance with added polish. Interior spaces range from the intimate and cozy to bright and social. We are busy and the city of Boston is very fortunate to offer many luxury hotels and to offer many different experiences. In this competitive market, General Manager Carlos Bueno says guest experience matters above all. How a hotel makes visitors feel. For those who book a fireplace suite at the Newberry, a special extravagance is offered. Hello! A fireplace butler made available to stack and stoke kindling of your choosing, be it birch, cherry, oak, or maple. My personal preference would be the Newberry blend, in which our fireplace butler comes in and sets your own blend unique to you and to your stay. Along with the menu of wood varietals comes an exclusive fireplace dining menu. What would you like to enjoy by a fireplace? These are the things that our culinary team came up with. How about the creamy comfort of gooey grilled cheese with tomato soup? Robert Rouleau, the Newberry's director of food and beverage, offers a campfire cocktail to go along with it. For some dramatic effect and to get the room feeling like a campfire, we toast the marshmallow for you here. For dessert, a second helping of marshmallow, caramelized atop graham cracker crust and rich chocolate. Wow, this is a great s'more. Something that was very near and dear to us was preserving our 40 sweets with wood-burning fireplaces. They go back to 1927, they're cherished, they're beloved, and it's really a feature that sets us apart and very unique. From next level luxury to life on the road, at the Verb Hotel in Fenway, experience what it's like to sleep like a rock star. Since we've opened in the fall, we've had Def Leppard, Motley Crue, Joan Jett, Poison, Dalton the Sheriffs, Brook in the Bluff, the list goes on. General Manager Chris D'Amelia is talking about these new accommodations behind the main hotel. This is backstage at the Verb Hotel. We have 10 exclusive, unique, custom-built trailers each one is focused on a different artist. Think of the Verb as a rock and roll museum where you can spend the night. Just like each room inside honors a famous act, so does each trailer backstage. This is our trailer that is paying homage to Cass Elliot. Oh, wow. It's really cool. The floors are radiant heated. It is a luxury experience when you go in. It just feels much different from the Verb, but it also has the same spirit as the Verb. Got to check out the facilities. Ooh, that's a first class trailer. Those who book backstage don't need to check in. Instead, they're whisked through the hotel for a quick tour before the big reveal. If you go to any concert or any show and you're a VIP, it's not going into the general audience. It's actually someone that's going to meet you and bring you to your seat. So the idea behind going backstage is very much like that. Grab a record of your choosing. 79. That's my year. Take in ever-changing exhibits. Frank Sinatra, old blue eyes over here, his microphones positioned in front of him are the actual microphones that he would like to use. Admire Brett Michaels' guitar and experience the ballpark like never before. There is a ball game, you can sit out there and hear the roar of the crowd. If there's a concert going on, those are your two tickets. Sit in the chairs and enjoy the show without having to go into Fenway. And then you can hang outside and just take it all in. Very cool, and the verb was really fashioned to pay tribute to the alternative rock vibe that the Fenway neighborhood has been known for over the years. The building was originally the Fenway Motor Lodge, then a Howard Johnson's before being transformed into what it is today.